Hey there, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'll be walking you through a major update to my real estate equity waterfall model with annual period. Now, if you're familiar with this model, it, it again has annual periods and then two forms of a waterfall. Either you can use internal rate of return hurdles for your waterfall, or you can use equity multiple hurdles for your water, waterfall. And for years now, I've been asked to create a waterfall that would allow for either IRR or equity multiple hurdles, but also the option to take the greater of the two. And, and this is common when you have short-term holds and your limited partner is concerned that because of the time value of money nature of IRR, the shorter the hold period, the higher the IRR will be, that you may hit the hurdles and the GP would get into the promote much sooner maybe than the, the LP had intended. So imagine a scenario where you're developing an apartment complex and you get six months into the deal and the partnership receives an offer, uh, a buyout offer of that, of that apartment complex well before even completion of construction, let alone stabilization. And so you could imagine a 12 month hold and it may only be say a 10% profit. So you, the, the, the project costs is a million and you sell it for a million one, but because it happens in the condensed time period, the IRR is much higher than perhaps it had been uh, contemplated. And so having both an IRR and an equity multiple hurdle hedges against that, uh, that possibility. And so this model now accommodates that. Now let's, let's walk through how that works. So here I have the waterfall itself. And if you're familiar with the previous model before there were the assumptions around the top here, and then below there was one waterfall, all right, with, a tier one, tier two, tier three, and a tier four. And then what, how it worked is you had a drop down menu here where you chose IRR or you chose equity multiple. And depending on the assumption here, you enter either IRR hurdles or equity multiple hurdles. And then the model would function accordingly. However, I've included a third option and this is a IRR plus equity multiple. And what happens here is you toggle cell D4 to IRR or equity multiple, and now both equity multiple and IRR hurdles become assumptions in your analysis. You enter then, of course, the promote at each of the tiers. The distribution as a percentage to the GP and the LP is shown in this section. And then down below, what you find is I've uh, I actually duplicated the waterfall. And so this first section models a, a waterfall with IRR hurdles. The section, second section models a, the scenario, but with equity multiple hurdles. And then I've got the cell right here that looks at the two waterfalls and says, okay, which is greater, right? And that's really what the, the LP is looking for. It's like uh, IRR or equity multiple hurdles, the greater of, of either scenario. This looks at that and then the resulting cash flow that is distributed to the LP and the GP depends on whether the IRR or the equity multiple is the, the greater of the two scenarios. And so otherwise the model's the same. So if you're familiar with this model, uh, inputs are gonna be the same. You choose a promote hurdle method here. Let's say IRR. You choose the contribution percentage to the GP and the LP. You set your hurdle rates your promote levels, uh, you confirm whether the GP and LP receive the preferred return and return of capital peri pasu or at a different rate. And then you enter here the analysis start date. You enter your net property level cash flow, the levered cash flow from the property level. And then you uh, drop in any GP fees related to the deal. You then, we then get a net adjusted property level cash flow line from which this line uh, contributions from and distributions to the partners are modeled below, either in an IRR fashion or using IRR hurdles, I should say, or in an equity multiple fashion or using equity multiple hurdles here. And then of course, depending on the value here and here, we'll determine what is actually distributed to the LP and the GP. So take a look at this update to the model. This is a major update, so and meaning 
there's a lot of structural changes to the model. So if you find a bug, please let me know and I'll, I'll roll out a uh, interim fix. Otherwise, thanks for your time. Thank you.